Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about Databricks Git folders. Now, Databricks Git folders allows you to integrate Git repositories with your Azure Databricks workspace. And it also supports common Git operations like cloning, repository, committing, pushing, pulling and branch management. Now, we are not going to cover Git basics in these videos, so I expect you people to at least know the basics of Git. And starting this video, we are going to learn more about CI CD process, what we can follow in Databricks in order to move around your code assets like notebooks, workflows, pipelines from one environment like dev to another environment like QA or production. We are going to use Azure DevOps for it. So there is some basic setup that has to be done in the beginning before we can go ahead and start using Databricks Git folders. Now, before this video, if you have not seen our playlist, I would recommend you to go back and watch our playlist from the beginning. So, without any further delay, let's begin. As I mentioned that before we can use Databricks Git folders, we first need to set up our Azure DevOps environment. In order to set up your Azure DevOps, you can just go to dev.azure.com. Now, once you hit enter, it will land you on your organization's page. Now, if you are still not on this organization's page, for example, my username is Shubham Kharwal and this is why it is landing me on the organization page. But in case you are redirected and you are not landing on your organization page, the only thing that you need to do is add AEX in the beginning of the URL. Okay, So your URL would be aex.dev.azure.com and just hit enter. Great. On this page, you can find your Azure DevOps organizations. For me, it is already created and the URL is dev.azure.com slash Shubham Kharwal. But in case you don't have any organization created, you can just go ahead and click on this button which says create new organization and it would help you to create an organization. Once your organization is created, just go into that organization page. So I am into my organization which is Shubham Kharwal and now the first thing that I need to do is I have to create a project to get started. Okay, so I am going to create a project named Ease with data okay and this will be my project in order to proceed further so i'll just make sure that the visibility is still private and i'll click on create project awesome it will create my project now on the left hand side you can see a lot of options on your azure devops portal the important ones are repos and pipelines repos would allow you to create git repos which we are going to use to integrate with databricks git folders right so the first thing that we need to do is create a repo okay in order to do that just click on this plus button here at the top if you don't see any option to create repo just click on this repos first and then click the plus button on the top okay and once you click you get an option called new repository just click on this okay now the important is our repository type is git and that is by default selected and we need to provide a repository name and the name of my repository would be adb which stands for azure databricks and i'll just add ci cd okay now I need to add a git ignore because we are going to use a code editor later in our course. So I'll just click on this and I'll search for Visual Studio. Okay, and I'll select this. And once your repository will be initialized, the name of your main branch would be main. Okay, it will not be master, rather, the name of the branch would be main. Okay, so once this is done, just click on create. Great, now you can see our repository is created and the name of our repository is adbcicd. And we have two files one is git ignore and one is readme. Okay, so our work at the Azure DevOps is done. Now we have a repository and we are going to integrate this with our Databricks workspace. Okay, so let's quickly switch over to our Databricks workspace now. I am back in my Databricks workspace. Now, before we can go ahead and create Databricks Git folders, the first thing that we need to do is we have to create Git credentials. And in order to do that, just click on this profile icon on the right hand top and go to settings. Okay, and then on the left hand side on the bottom, you can see an option link accounts. Just click on this, and now you can add your grid credentials here in order to connect your Azure DevOps repo with Databricks workspace. Okay, so I'm just going to click on add grid credentials, and now you have multiple options to select different Git provider, right? In our case, it is still Azure DevOps, so I'll let it be default Azure DevOps, and we are going to use personal access token. So I'll let it be whatever is selected as default. Okay. And I'm just going to rename this to Azure DevOps. Okay. Now I need to provide an username or email that will be used to connect with the Git provider. Okay. So I'll just put my username here, which is okay. And now I'll put the token. 
So in order to get the token, you just have to quickly go back to your Azure DevOps account. And where you see clone, right? Just click on this. And here you can generate Git credential. Okay, just click on this. It will generate a username and a password for you. So now you can also copy this username from here and also the password. I'll just copy the password from here and I'll change my username to Shubham Kharwa. So I'll quickly go back to Databricks workspace and I'll change the username to Shubham Kharwa and I'll paste the token that I copied from there. Okay, and I'll click on save. Awesome. Now you can see our credential setup is completed successfully. Now that we have connected our Azure DevOps to Databricks, let's go ahead and create our Databricks Git folder. Now, in order to create Databricks repo or Git folders, just go to workspace on the left hand side. And now you can click on create. Okay. And you can go ahead and select Git folder from here. Once you select Git folder, you can go ahead and attach your Databricks repo here. Again, if I expand the workspace on the left hand side, you get an option here called repos. You can also create your repo folders here. Okay. Now, in order to create repo folders here, you can just go ahead and click create a repo here. Or you can always create the repo folder under your parent folder, which is ease with data for me. Okay. Now I'm going to create the repo folder under repos. So I'll just go back to repos. I'll click on this create a repo here. And now I need to provide the git repo URL. Okay. For this, again, we'll go back to Azure DevOps. And I'll copy the git repo from here. I'll go back. And I'll paste it here. Okay. And I have to select Azure DevOps from here on the drop down. So it is automatically selected. And the name of the repository will automatically be populated, which is ADB CI CD. Now you see an option here at the bottom which says sparse checkout mode. It allows you to check out only specific folders in a particular repo. But in our case, we want to check out the complete repo. So I'll not check anything here and I'll just click on create repo. It will take a few minutes. We'll wait for it. Awesome. Our repo is created. Now, if I go back to the repos folder again, under that, you can see my username here. And under my username, you can find the repo that has been created. Okay. Now, this is a Databricks Git folder. And you can see it has been connected with the main branch. Now, if you want to change the branch, just click on this here. And from the drop down, you can go ahead and change it to the branch that you want. Now, I'm not going to teach you Git here because we all know that in Git, you create branches in order to work. Okay, for now we don't have any branch. So we can go ahead and create a new branch. For example, I'll just click on create branch here and I'll type feature slash demo. Okay, and I'll click on create. Awesome. Now you can see a new branch has been created. Okay, now if you want to pull anything from the remote to your local Databricks workspace, you can go ahead and click on this pull here. Okay, but for now, since we have created this branch in the local, there's nothing to pull. So I'll not click on this pull button, but in order to bring in changes from your remote, which is our Azure DevOps to your local, which is your Databricks, you can go ahead and click on this pull button and it will bring in all the new changes that are stored in your remote repo to your Databricks workspace. Okay, but for now, I have to do nothing since our branch is checked out here, which is feature demo. I'll just click on this cross button. Okay, now you can see the branch is changed to feature slash demo. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll quickly open this repo. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder here called notebooks. And within that folder, we are going to create our first notebook. Okay, so I'll just click on this create here. I'm going to select folder at the top and I'll name it as notebooks. Okay, and I'll click on create. Great, our folder is created. Let's go ahead and create our first notebook in this repo branch. So what I'll do is I'll click on create here. I'll click on notebook. Awesome, you can see a notebook created. Okay, now the important part here is how we want to store this notebook on our repo. Now, by default, the format is IPYNB notebooks, which is actually also used by Jupyter Notebooks, right? But we want it to save as the source notebooks. For example, since this is a Python notebook, we want to store it as .py. Okay, so in order to do that, what I'll do is I'll click on this file here and I'll change the notebook format to source. Okay, what it would do is when we save this on our repo, this notebook would be saved as .py. Okay, so we have created our notebook. I'll just rename this to demo notebook demo repo notebook okay and i'll just add for example a code here so for example let's do a spark code for range okay what i'll do is i'll just type spark dot range of name okay so this is done our notebook is created 
now in order to push this notebook to remote what we need to do is we have to again go back to the branch in order to do that you can just go ahead and click here and now you can see all other changes that we made in this branch okay we added a new notebook which is demo repo notebook and you can see what notebook has been created here now we can go ahead and commit the changes that we have done now in order to select what all you want to commit you can go ahead and select the check boxes here for now i just have one notebook so i've selected one changed file i'll just put a commit message as demo notebook added okay and what i'll do is i'll click on commit and push okay what it would do is it will quickly commit and push our changes from local to repo great now you can see our changes is pushed to remote repo let's go ahead and check it in our azure devops so i'll quickly switch over to azure devops okay i'll cross here we are still in main branch so let me quickly go back to the branch that we created which is feature demo i'll click on this and now you can see a folder here called notebooks so if i expand this notebook folder you can see the notebook that we created which is demo repo notebook so if i click on this you can see the code that we have written okay great now let's see how the version control works so what i'll do is i'll quickly go back to my azure databricks workspace i'll click on cross here at the top and what i'll do is i'll just add one comment in the bottom this is a change okay so we just want to see if the version control works for example i made a change in my notebook and it should reflect in my repo as well right so i'll quickly go back to the branch again and now you see it shows me that this file is modified you can see it says m here okay so it also picks up the changes so that we can maintain the version control on our repo okay so i'll just put a commit message here changes done okay and i'll click on commit and push now you can see our changes are pushed to the remote branch let's quickly go to the azure devop again and let me quickly refresh this page awesome now you can see the changes are reflecting in azure devops okay so today's video was just to show you how you can set up your databricks git folders in order to get started with ci cd now in future we are going to use azure pipelines along with dabs which stands for databricks asset bundles to deploy your code assets from one environment to another this was all for today i hope you learned how to set up git repo in our next video we are going to work with databricks cli till then keep learning keep growing and keep sharing